Now stop me if you heard this one. Where have all the good men gone? Right? You, I, you, you've heard it. I've heard it. If you're a woman, you probably said it at one point or the other. But I'm going to tell you what I think that means. Okay? Now, I'm not saying it's the definitive gospel. Okay? But when I hear women say we have all the good men gone, I see this and I hear this. Why can't I turn the man that I desire into a image of what I want him to be? Plain and simple. That's just what it is. Where have all the good men gone? It seems good men are men who are malleable, men who can be manipulated, men who can give them what they want when they ask for it, and they don't have to give little to nothing in return but their box. This is what I've seen. I'm not saying it's universal, it's across the board. No, I'm telling you exactly what I've seen. And people may say, like, wow, you really need to uh, widen your horizons. Well, believe me, I have. I have. This is why I come back to you and report this. I'm not saying it because I live in some little bubble and I'm just lashing out. No, no matter where you go. No matter where you go. But I'm going to speak on matters that pertain to me. And I'm going to speak on matters that I see around me still pertaining to me. Okay? That's what I see a lot when I hear that expression. You know, it all sounds good on people. When your own sibling, your own sister's telling you because it sounds good on paper. That's exactly what she said to me. And I was like, I know, but why is that so? And then I explained to her, I was like, you know what? I just believe a lot of them can't trust their own judgment. A lot of them have made so many mistakes in the past and accountability comes into play. Like if you made those same mistakes repeatedly in the past, that must mean one, you don't learn from your mistakes. And two, and more importantly, you don't know what accountability is. You don't know what accountability is. It don't come into play. If you were held accountable for your actions, you learn from your actions. Some people get held accountable and their ignorance keeps them in the same place that they've always been. This feeling that they don't have to change for no one. I am who I am. Nobody's trying to make you completely become someone you're not. But like one of my friends over in the UK said, of course, I'm not trying to change you and I don't want you to change me, but there's a different mindset that goes into the aspect of being in a relationship. Whereas you come to understand one another, you come to make adjustments, but you don't change the core character of who you are. See, I feel a lot of them don't trust their own judgment sometimes and they make the same mistakes over and over again because now they have mentally become accustomed to thinking, this is my destiny. This is my fate. This is what I do. And I clearly tell them, and I clearly tell people like this all the time, look, if you have to take yourself out the equation and do you, be to yourself by all means. But don't come back into this situation not learning anything. Yeah, yeah I can understand you come back guarded, but some people put up clear signs of being guarded and it's it drives people away. And when they drive people away, guess what happened? Well, that person wasn't meant to be in my life. Okay. If you think, if you say so. Now, everybody that comes across, that you come across, ain't meant to be in your life, but you scare people. You scare people away from not I mean, because you have not learned anything. You have not learned how to vet. So you scare people away. And when you scare them away, that means they wasn't meant to be in your life. <laughs> you get it? You, you get what I'm saying here? It's like, you scare people and be like, why is everybody afraid of me? Why can't I? 
It's because you're, you're, you're the reason, but you don't have no accountability. So you don't see that reason. Stop me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comment section how this whole situation plays out. Because I've seen that on both men and women. They, they basically, their actions have pushed people away. Now, some people need to be pushed away. Like case in point, yours truly here doesn't do the BBW thing. Oh man, that has pushed a lot away. Why can't you see past that? I'm like, uh, don't, don't go there. Don't go there with your hypocrisy. Don't, don't you dare ask a man, why can't he see past that? Because you know we're going to flip it back on you. And if you even say because our feelings don't matter, you, you are proving more the reason why a lot of guys are walking away from your asses. Or why you, your, your guard and your um, ridiculous standards is what push people away. And this ain't no fucking manosphere bullshit. This is reality. No pickup game artists. This is reality. This is what it's come down to. The lack of accountability has really, really messed up things. But I digress. So anyway, I'm not going to even linger too long on this one. It's your boy Fury. I'm here. I got to get ready for work now. I'm out. Peace.